And now, second half will be more fun. Well, as fun as the first half, but more, I think, friends oriented. So I don't know if I will be filming a lot, a lot. But yeah. <laughs> so in 20 minutes, no, actually 10 minutes, my friend will pick me up and we're gonna go for lunch and we're gonna have sushi. So excited that real sushi. I think it's a, yeah, I don't know if she booked or we just walk in, but regardless, I, as long as I can see her, I'll be good. So now I'm using this perfume. It's a tester, obviously. It's a Mason Louis Marie, number four. It smells like sophisticated, ready smell. I love it. I might get the usual size, I don't know. But it's a really good smell. But yeah, so I will see you tonight. Maybe I'm gonna show you how the hotel looks in the night, the view. It's not like super duper, like a high, tall building around, but you have view of Tokyo Sky Tree, which is the tallest building or tower in Japan, I think. It's 600, 600, 34 meters yeah but anyways i think she is messaging me so i will talk to you later i'm back from lunch it was amazing it was I didn't obviously take all the video of sushi, but he was so kind, he cut sushi into two and let us enjoy with one flavor and the other flavor. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm so full, I'm getting a little bit tired, but let's do some room tour. It's not a big room, but you know, might as well do that. So this is the entrance, they got this kind of uh, magnet, do not disturb and make up room. And I can hang this one to request a time, I think it's really smart. And then once you enter, there is this closet, and also there is a safe. And I put the bag here, and here is the bathroom. A little bit messy, but yeah, that's the bathroom. It comes with the shampoo and all, got a bathtub and shower, and there is a window here, I don't know. just like that. Yeah, and then here is the bedroom. It's a very small, tiny room, but it's good enough I'm mostly here just to sleep and uh, as there's a window like this it looks kind of you know big open space I like it yeah so that's it for this uh, room tour there's no other room it's not super fancy but it's connected to the Tokyo station so it's really good location although Tokyo station is huge and it's so many people. Everyone is wearing a mask, but so many people. <laughs> so I get kind of tired. Uh, so that's why I came back and kind of charging myself. But next, so let me show you. This is the subway line. I am here, Tokyo. I should get you an English version, which I have, but I took it away. Tokyo, and I am going to Yebis, Ebis. So I have to take this red line and change line. I think after Yawan Ginza and go through Ropungi and go Ebis. And tonight we're gonna eat Thai food, and any food in Japan is so tasty. Well, I don't know if it's authentic when it comes to, you know, non-Japanese food, but like, it's so tasty. It, yeah. 
It's just the quality is amazing. And I think I will show you this sky tree again because it looks a lot more clear now. But anyways, I'm gonna go get some coffee in... I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like... I don't know. I really don't. But I will go get some coffee. ちょっと触れずに。え、なんかできた。ブログ。そうやな。で、投げてきた。え、ただいま。それでもとってもらおうかな。これでいいよ、みたいな。ただいま。ただいま。ただいま。オッケー。じゃあ、じゃあ、じ
guys, so I am at the airport and time is 11, no, no, 1.30 and my flight is at 5.40 or 50. It got delayed by 50 minutes, so I have extra time. I just had food as you saw and yeah, it was so quick. I miss Holdor and of course Andy, but it was so quick. I feel like I needed more time. I did as much as I could during these eight nights. Yeah, so I have about four hours. I already ate. I have one more thing to do, which is to return the Wi-Fi, this thingy. And after that, I will be so bored and feel like I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> so I will get some coffee. And next time you see me, we'll be either in the airplane or home, sweet home in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> so, I hope the audio picked up my voice, but anyways, I will see you around. Hello everyone, I am back in Canada, in Toronto, my home, as you can see the familiar background. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to conclude this video as I didn't take any footage since the day of departure, as I have so many stuff. I have two big bags, well, which is carry-ons and a personal, and two check-in luggage. It was heavy. I have to go all by myself, obviously, and carrying that everything, you know, around in Tokyo Station in almost end of the last hour. It was hectic. <laughs> I was at the wrong platform for the train it's an express train and i have to buy a specific ticket and if i miss it i have to repurchase it again and it doesn't come another one hour which time wasn't the problem but the fact i have to literally go back and come back to purchase another ticket was a problem for me physically challenging and uh, yeah so about five minutes before the train supposed to leave i noticed on the screen, I don't see my train there. Like, I was like, how is it possible? It's in Japan, it's never late. There should be an announcement if it's cancelled or something. And I asked the staff and he said, oh, it's the platform over there, which I don't know how to get there because it's one of those that's the other side of, side of the platform. And I couldn't understand why they have four platforms for the same train. Like, why? Why? <laughs> so I run, I took the elevator, I went all the way up, I lost. So this happened in five minutes. Everything happened in five minutes. And I asked another staff and he told me to go downstairs, I just read the stuff, like, I just read it. And I took a chance, okay, I'm just gonna go this way, and I literally run with a suitcase, two suitcases, so it's not like this, and it's two different sizes, so it's like this how I'm running, and with my big backpack and a personal luggage on the suitcase. It was a little bit mess, as you can tell, <laughs> and I made it in on time probably one minute before the departure so everything happened in four minutes but luckily luckily that train was also late to depart that really happens in japan in my opinion it's always on time so i was kind of lucky that train was late too so you know there was no extra rushing situation going on once i was at that right correct platform but yeah it was hectic but once i arrived at the airport it was smooth i was a little bit worried well not in the tokyo because in tokyo there's a lot of restrictions so there's not too many travelers especially for international flights but once i was in vancouver and toronto so i had a layover in vancouver which where there was the immigration and it was so smooth like too smooth that i was a little bit lost 
And yeah, I didn't have to pick up luggage because I used both Air Canada. They brought it final destination, which was in Toronto. And in Toronto, I heard some news that everything has been busy, line up. No, both way, I, it was uh, so smooth. No line up, I just walk, walk, walk. Yeah, it was just, we, for the trip part, it was okay. It was, you know, nice and easy. Everything was fine. I made it home safe and sound. So I guess I will conclude this Japan vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!